We've definitely seen our threats go up. The nasty letters we're receiving, including the one that's being investigated, the two that are being investigated right now. Lee Zeldin got stabbed while he was speaking to a crowd of people not all that long ago, and it barely got any coverage. So the the uh, panic is only coming from the left, and they're only covering any attacks or uh, you know situations that affect people who are Democrats. They are failing to recognize that the Republicans running, I think, are being attacked even more. Carrie Lake running for governor out in Arizona. It's come with the normal scare tactic of those Democrats are coming to kill you. As a matter of fact, if you uh, remember Lee Zeldin running out in New York, he was stabbed. Remember that? No, 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 no one really remembers that. We're gonna get to how much BS that is, but uh, she's not the only one. Famously, Marjorie Taylor Greene is also talking about how Republicans are under attack, despite what you've seen. Republicans are under attack, watch that. Targets now, though, for daring to push back against the regime, and it doesn't stop at a weaponized legal system. I'm not going to mince words with you all. Democrats want Republicans dead. Joe Biden has declared every freedom loving American an enemy of the state. But under Republicans, we will take back our country from the communists who have stolen it and want us to disappear. We will the unelected bureaucrats, the real enemies within, who have abused their power and declared political warfare on the greatest president this country has ever had. Once you guys put a bookmark on these moments, because once the midterms are over, despite whether or not Republicans win overwhelmingly the way they expect, or Democrats do something in the middle, no matter what, what you will not hear about anymore is Democrats coming to kill Republicans. This is a republic. This is a, a tactic from many of these conservative voices that are looking to shift the way people think right before the midterms. There's always stuff that they talk about that they don't speak about afterwards. It actually means nothing. But let's get back to more of this because Carrie Lake talked about Lee Zeldin being stabbed and no outlets talked about it. Let's start with the stabbing part about that. Let's watch this. There's only one option. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. As you can see, there was that brutal non stabbing attack. He did run up on him, he did grab him. This was a physical altercation, apparently one that none of these folks have ever been into because they thought that was a stabbing or they're just lying to you. Second part about this concert before I let you jump in because I know you got some thoughts. Remember the whole thing she said about no one talked about Lee Zeldin and the attack on him on stage? Uh, NBC News at the time, US Representative Lee Zeldin attacked on stage at New York campaign event. That, that looks like oh. attention. Oh, here's something else from CNN. Suspected attacker of GOP Representative Lee Zeldin arrested on federal assault charge. That looks like something else, like a, a headline. Maybe a story follows that. There's Ooh. another one from CBS News. Congressman Lee Zeldin speaks out after attempted assault. They said attempted, Ooh. maybe that's her problem. On stage at a campaign rally near Rochester. It's weird how that works, conscious that someone like Carrie Lake, who's weaponizing and 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 ginning up people to more violence are telling everyone else. You hear about Lee Zeldin, that attack he had? Maybe you should stop lying or maybe this is working. <laughs> Hey, I think that we see conservative contradictions be illustrated to us time after time after time after time again. As a black person that likes to use my intellectual process on the internet, the word victimization is thrown at me a lot because they said that I like to create narratives to make myself a victim of it, to try to generate clout and generate drama. And that's literally what they do. The second thing too, as a black man in America that is always already trying to deconstruct notions of Black on black crime. I find it very funny that when white people beef with each other, it is always <laughs> talked about with a capital P politics. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can use rhetoric about military and killing each other and running up on each other and beefing with each other, but it's never talked about in terms of pathology. Like, oh my God, we gotta do something about these white folks doing something to each other. But listen, when black folks do it, it's like you can't get mad at the police doing it because you're doing it to each other. <laughs> and then the last thing, the last thing, right? The irony of that this this started off with a woman politician that happened to be a conservative in the Arizona 
Didn't y'all just have a couple couple days ago people showing up in tactical gear trying to intimidate folks? And that didn't make you you didn't talk about that on your you hold on. I, that didn't make the headlines in conservative news. It's like, odd because it definitely made headlines over here because we talked about it. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up, Conscious, because we're gonna talk about it again. Uh, Again, back out in Maricopa County, where people showed up, let's take a look at this photo here. Showed up, armed, tactical gear, masks over their faces. I thought that would keep you from breathing, I heard during COVID times. But showed up to watch some polls to make sure that people were intimidated or that they felt like they weren't really comfortable doing that normal thing that Americans are supposed to do, which is vote. By the way, they're covering up for the realities of what they're doing. I feel like you talked about the hypocrisy of them talking about everyone else wanting to be a victim when all they're trying to do is be victims to profit off of it, to put themselves in a better position of power. This is it right here. I'm not sure if you remember from years and years ago, it was back when Obama was in office or maybe when he was running the first time. There was some new Black Panther Party members that showed up at some polling stations to watch the polls. You remember what Fox News said, Conscious? Oh Yeah. They got called thugs, terrorists, irrational, gun-toting, possession. Like it was, it was all type of dog whistles that was used. But we see that you know the second, the Second Amendment or unalienable rights and life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. I feel like a, a, a lot of different times politicians, wink, wink, will show you that that's not really what it is. At all, but you know what? They kind of don't care once the people who can point that out, because of course the followers at this point aren't listening to anything else that's happening. We'll see how much it works. But look, the violence continues. I'm sorry, go ahead. Something else that's also funny is that when it comes to talking about like the polls and what is going on, it's like we can talk about how she in Arizona talk about what happened in New York, but if we bring up what happened in Georgia and that you get get go to jail for having water and giving people food, you know what I'm saying? You can show up in America with tactical gear, you better not show up with a water bottle and food. <laughs> It'll get you in jail. In fact, it's voter fraud. 